Okay, welcome to Saken's take. So these videos are just my take on things. Obviously, my life is heavily influenced by music, technology, Wusabat, of course. And yeah, just kind of like sharing insights and my take on things. This is going to be the first part of a series of Saken's take. I might talk about some controversial things. I think this one I'm going to say is called A Woman's biggest or greatest problem is in between her legs. What do I mean? So when you look at a woman and we say that the woman is goddess and without the woman there will be no males or any of us. So that means that where do we come through? We come through her vortex. It's a vortex because this is how beings are brought through into this world. And it's a big problem for her because a woman is an internal being. And between her legs, which is this vortex, is how things come out. But for things to come out, things have to go in. So by nature, it's designed to open up so that something can go in. And most male spend their time, you've got some, you know, seven billion people on the planet. And the female is generally always trying to fight off men and sometimes, you know, the wrong attention. And a lot of men's objective is to get inside that black hole, um, the black hole that life is produced from. So it's a very, very complex subject. And um, so a woman has to be very mindful of who she lets in. But by mere fact that she has to open up to allow someone or something in, in this case sperm, to be able to then produce, it means that she constantly has to protect, you know, this valuable thing that she has. And if she's not aware and she's um, just not aware that you've got all of this attention, all these men trying to get into that garden, then she may take in and allow, you know, the wrong energies in. And so as sweet as the nectar is, and every man's trying to get in there, a woman has to be very guarded. It's literally like a full-time job to make sure that she doesn't allow anyone, any and anybody in because she can become, um, you know, for lack of a better word, a dumping ground of, you know what I mean, unwanted material which affects her DNA because she takes things in. She's an internal being. Men are external beings and women are internal. So, um the wrong relationships, the wrong men can end up damaging the sacredness of the sacred feminine because her real ability to procreate and bring about gods or supreme beings into this world. So it's a very, very important subject. And we have uh, a scroll called um, the Gospel of Yanun on the sacred feminine. And we have other scrolls like um, Soulmates, Parterac. We have Genetic Kiss. We have a lot of scrolls that deal with how important, because with Genetic Kiss, what you're dealing with is the kiss of death. Because when you exchange bodily fluids, whether it's kissing, saliva, or you know sexual fluids, it can have a massive effect on the female. Yeah, so... So Ken's take on how important this black hole is, is that you have to be aware. You really have to, because if you don't, it can affect the, you know, the rest of your life. And so choose carefully, be wise. and uh, Don't choose partners and people that, you know, you end up in bed with based on, oh, they're cute, they got, green eyes or muscles or you know what I mean like just you're choosing based on material 
things and not really using the sciences or thinking and using your mind in terms of what is the purpose? Is it just lust or is it you're looking at a future with this person? And we're going to go into more um, more videos on relationships and how, do you know what I mean, you should really be very careful because as, as a woman, um, that part of you is, is something that you have to be very, very guarded over and not to be frivolous with it. And I know it's, it's not easy because you constantly are bombarded by men when you go out, when you dress a certain way. You know, men, men, a lot, some men's objective is, that's it, just to conquer and, um, and move on, you know. And so you have to be very careful in this day and time because you're bringing about beings onto this planet from your black hole and so you have to be very, very aware of these sciences and to know who is right and who is wrong for you or else it can have a major impact on your whole life. So that's my take. Be careful. Don't just be easily um, beguiled, uh, easily tricked. Um, don't, don't just buy the fact that someone's flashing Rolexes or um, flash cars or... Do you know what I mean? Like, just look in the part, but really, you've got to delve deep into what are they carrying? What kind of genetics? What kind of diseases? How many partners have they had? And uh, are they somebody that you want to lay down with? So that's my take.